वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज़ अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियोरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई वाई पैनामीटर्स फॉर डिपेंडेंट सोर्स टाइप ऑफ नेटवर्क सो लेट अस सी द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व हियर वी आर हैविंग वन इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क विच इज टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क एंड फॉर दैट वी आर डील विथ टू फाइंड वाई पैरामीटर्स नाउ यू सी हियर वी आर हैविंग करंट आई वन एंड वोल्टेज वी वन एंड दिस इज वॉट वोल्टेज वी टू एंड करंट आई टू एंड दिस इज माई करंट सोर्स दैट इज डिपेंडेंट करंट सोर्स थ्री आई वन राइट नाउ माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू विल हैव टू सी द नेटवर्क फर्स्ट एंड इफ दैट नेटवर्क इज सिंपली पाई नेटवर्क और सिंपली टी नेटवर्क then we can directly make voltage and current equations and we can directly have y parameters but this is not simple pi or t network so you will have to do the basic process of calculation of y parameters so if you see my first video based on y parameters then in that i have explained for a measurement of y parameters we provide short circuit so first what we will be doing is we will provide short circuit at port 2 and then we will find i2 by v1 that is y21 and i1 by v1 that is y11 after that i'll be providing short circuit at port 1 and then i'll identify i2 by v2 that is y22 and i1 by v2 that is y12 right so let us do short circuit with port 2 first now you see i have redrawn this circuit in that what i'll do is i'll provide short circuit at port 2 so now you see i'm providing short circuit at port 2 so if i provide short circuit at port 2 what will happen v2 that will get zero right now in parallel with this short circuit you see we have current source and this resistor so what will happen with this resistor this resistor will get shorted right see current source value that is providing some current right and it will be having all the current in this branch only but you cannot provide short circuit of that current source right but resistors will get short circuited as you see in parallel we are having short circuit so you just observe what i am doing is i am just removing that resistor this resistor right now what we need to do is we need to find the value of i1 by v1 and i2 by v1 right so for a calculation of i1 by v1 if you find impedance of this network right then also we can have i1 by v1 see first what we will find impedance means v1 by i1 right so v1 by i1 what is that you see see this 1 ohm resistor that is there in parallel with this network now if you carefully see this network then this is short circuit right overall so you can say v1 by i1 that is impedance and that is one parallel to right sometimes you may not be able to see this right the reason is you might be thinking like what will happen with this current source but, but you see that is shorted over here means one one parallel to that is v1 by i1 right so that is 1 into 2 divided by 1 plus 2 so that will be 2 divided by 3 so all i can say is i1 by v1 that is 3 by 2 mo and that is what y11 now with this circuit we need to find i2 by v1 right so we wanted to have a relation of v1 and i2 now see to get that relation what we will do is first of all i'll identify what will be the current which is happening in this branch right and if i say in this branch let us say current is i dash right so if you apply kcl at this node let us say this is node a then by applying kcl at node a will be having i dash current so that will be entering current is equals to leaving current entering current is i dash and i2 and leaving current that is 3i1 right so i can say i dash that is equals to 3i1 minus i2 now see i got the value of i dash right now 
what is this V1? So see V1, if you apply KVL in this outer loop, you see, if you apply KVL in this outer loop, then what is V1? V1 will be this 2 ohm resistor into I dash. So let us apply KVL in outer loop. So if you apply KVL in outer loop, this V1 that is happening from minus 2 plus, so that is V1 and that is equals to, see this 2 into I dash and we have I dash, right. So V1 that is equals to 2 into I dash is 3I1 minus I2. Now what we want? We wanted to have I2 by V1. So I need to replace I1 in terms of V1 which we have, right. I1 by V1 that is 3 by 2. So I can say I1 is equals to 3 by 2 V1. So let us substitute that over here. So here 2 into 3 6 into I1 that is 3 by 2 V1 minus 2 I2, right. So now you see this and this will get cancelled and this will be 3. Now you see I am taking I2 term on other side. So 2 I2 that is equals to 9 V1 minus V1. So that will be 8 V1. So I can say I2 by V1 that is Y21 and that will be 8 by 2 that will be 4 more. So that is how we can have transfer admittance and this is forward transfer admittance, right. And this is admittance of port 1 or you can say input admittance. Now with this circuit, what we will do is, we will provide a short circuit at port 1. So you can observe, I am having this circuit which is actual question, right. In that, I will be providing short circuit over here at port 1, right. And as if I provide short circuit at port 1, what will happen? this V1 that will get 0 and now you see this resistor of 1 ohm that is getting shorted. So I need to remove this resistor of 1 ohm, right. Now see with this circuit we are delivered to identify the ratio of V2 by I2, sorry I2 by V2 that is Y22 as well as I1 by V2 that is Y12, right. So if you see this circuit carefully, then in this circuit, if you apply KVL in this outer loop, you see, then through this resistor we are having current I1 and we can have relation of V2 and I1. So let us apply KVL in outer loop. So if you apply KVL in this outer loop, you see this voltage V2 that is happening from minus to plus, so I am writing plus V2 that is equals to now you see in this loop, right, this 2 into I1 current is there, but I1 is there in opposite direction to the loop. So minus 2 into I1 that I can say, right. So in this outer loop, only these two elements are there. So I can say I1 by V2, that is minus 1 by 2 and that is what? That is Y12, right. This is even referred as reverse transfer admittance. Now our agenda is to identify I2 by V2, right. So if you have relation in between I1 and I2, then we can identify I2 by V2. So you see here I1 current is there, here I2 current is there, here 3 I1 current is there, right. And if you see these two resistors are there in parallel and value of both are 2 ohm. So obviously if current I1 is happening with this resistor, then what will happen over here current I1 should be there, right. And direction of both should be same as both resistors are having same value in parallel, right. So if you apply nodal analysis at this node, let us say this is node A, then we can have relation in between I1 and I2. So let us apply KCL at node A. So entering current is equals to leaving current. So you see entering current is I1, I1 and I2. So I1 plus I1 plus I2 and leaving current is 3I1, 
right so if you simplify this then you see 2i1 that will go on other side so that will be 3 minus 2 so that will be i1 only so i can say i2 is equals to i1 as i2 is equals to i1 you see i1 by v2 that should be i2 by v2 right so i can say i2 by v2 that is also minus half mo and that is equals to y22 so this is our output admittance right or you can say that is port 2 admittance so that is how we can identify y parameters here sometimes you may be given in terms of mcq examination like write that matrix of y parameter so in that case you see what you need to do is matrix of y that will be as per y11 y12 y21 and y22 so here we have solved all the values what is y11 y11 that is 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 means 1.5 y12 so y12 that is minus half so minus 0 0.5 y21 so y21 that is 4 and y22 that is again minus half so that is how y matrix that we can write i hope you have understood this still if you have any query you just place that in comment box there will be at least 40 45 videos based on two port network so don't worry all categories of questions that i'm going to place it over here and you can be able to solve any question like it may be there in competitive or university examination my goal is to resolve all categories of queries over here so please give your valuable feedback here thank you so much for watching this video